Well done for getting through all of the beginner, intermediate and advanced options in the series. Now we're gonna have a look at the actual programming behind your training session. How your training session is gonna be structured, how many sets, how many reps, what you're actually looking at doing when you go out to train. This episode, we're gonna have a look at actually finding your ability level and placing it on a scale that you're going to draw out and record down. So now we're going to create our scale and we're gonna place ourselves onto it. To begin with, we're gonna take our current body weight and place that into the middle of the scale. Now for me, that is 65 kilograms, so I'm going to place that with a line in the middle. Now we've done that, we are going to start looking at the red, blue and green bands. To start with, we'll look at the red band because that one is going to give us the smallest decrease from our body weight. So if we move down to the red, we know actually from the manufacturer's website that we're gonna take 14 kilograms off of our body weight. This is gonna be a rough estimate. It is not going to be very accurate because depending on the height of the person and how taut the elastic band is going to be means that it's gonna be pulling at different amounts. But for now, we're just looking at the manufacturer website and we're gonna take the 14 kilos for our scale. Next will be the blue band. That will actually take 23 kilos off and leave us with 42 kilograms. And what this means is when I'm doing a normal body weight pull up, I'm actually pulling 65 kilograms up from the ground and just with my arms. If I use the red band, I'm pulling 51 kilos. And if I'm using the blue band, I am pulling 42 kilos with my arms. Lastly, with the green band, we're gonna be actually taking 30 kilograms off. So it means that you're gonna be pulling 35 kilograms off of the ground just with your arms with this pull up. Now we have the downward scale. Let's have a look at above the 65 kilos. So for this, we know that we could add weight by just simply placing the weight belt onto us with varying amounts of weight plates. And we know that we can put as much or as little weight as we like on. So I'm just going to add a 10 kilo increment for 65 to 75. And then we're gonna go up again to 85 and then finally 95. Obviously this can be as small as you like or as big as you like. The scale is absolutely as much or as little as you like it to be. After creating the scale, now you have to place yourself onto it. Now to do that, we are actually going to spend a whole session just figuring out what our one repetition maximum is going to be. So we call this our one RM. So the one RM is a way of checking what our raw strength is. And it means that we're gonna look at what could we only do once on the bar. So how, what weight could we use that means that we would only be able to do one of those repetitions. If you feel that you could do doubles or triples, it means it's too light, and we really want to find out what that single one is. So when you start, you're gonna start very, very light. You will have to be completely honest with yourself as a student, or if you're the coach, you really wanna have a look at starting with something that you know is going to be very, very easy. So. Let's start with the green band here. Now, we know that using the scale, we're gonna weigh 35 kilos. So it means that our first check of being able to do a single repetition with the green, if we can complete it, we know that we're starting at the scale at 35 kilos and that we can do that. Okay, so again, I'm gonna use the band here. I'm going to hang, pull up, and down. Now, because I've completed that, I know that we're starting at 35 kilos and we can move up to the next weight up and we're gonna have a go at doing that and trying again. We're now gonna move up the scale. We're going to try to get as far up the scale as we can and you're gonna do that in very small increments. 
Now to begin with, you might find that with your strength ability, actually the green is very, very easy, is way too easy. So you know that if you were to go to the blue, that would be fairly easy as well. Just go straight to the blue, give that one a go as well. As you get closer to what you are potentially being able to do your 1RM, so let's say that after the blue band here, we are starting to struggle. We're still able to do those singles, but we know that the work is starting to get a little bit harder. We want to make those increments smaller. So we start with the blue there, and we can actually use the weight belt to place a little bit more weight on us to make us a little bit heavier. So the difference between the blue and the red has now we've placed a middle ground in between the two. So as we start adding more weight to ourselves and using the blue band, it means we're getting closer and closer to that red band, okay? So we're using the blue going towards the red and you just keep adding weight and you want to look at usually around one kilo as an increment. So as you start getting very close to your 1RM, you only want to be putting very small amounts of weight as increments as you get closer to it. So we've been using the blue band, we've, we've gone from the green up to the blue, and now we're slowly moving towards the red, let's say. You're using the weight belt to go up in one kilogram increments up until you get up to that red band value. You get to the red band, you manage to do one pull up with the red band without any extra weight. You decide you're gonna give the next one a go and you place an extra kilo onto your body weight. You try the red band and you're unable to do it. That is where your one RM is going to sit. So the red band, the one that you completed, the one that you were able to do, that is your current ability level on this scale. So now we have our 1RM, we can now place ourselves onto the scale and we know where we are. Using the example, we are able to do the red band and a single rep with the red band, that means our 1RM is sitting at 51 kilos. Now we've found where our current level lies, we can now start to have a look at our goals and we're gonna have a look at how we're going to create our program around our current ability level and how to progress up from there.